Dear Elijah and Elena, the older you get, I hope you are able uh, to practice, well, not even just practice, but be able to admit when you've done wrong, even if that means you're going to have to face uh, a very heavy consequence. Um, I thought about this recently. Well, I thought about it a number of times. One one reason I thought about it a lot, just because you all are you know small now, you're four and two years old. Uh, and this is almost the end of 2020. And uh, sometimes you all will do wrong, obviously, as you know, four and two-year-old would, children. And when you do wrong, instead of admitting to uh, doing the wrong thing that you did, you will try to uh, come up with uh, another reason for why you did it or not even tell the truth at all. Another reason I thought about this, too, is because it, there have been a number of times when I've watched... Um, murder mysteries and things of that nature and in them i always find it interesting like you know people always talk about how the justice system is so terrible and stuff like that uh, in the united states of america and i and i think to myself you know and i'm sure that's true in definitely uh, many cases but also there are times when there are people who do wrong and they just lie about it they don't want to get caught for the evil that they've done and so they lie about it that's why you know that's why we're also fortunate in this country because you get a public defender uh you might not always get the best lawyer money can buy but sometimes Lawyers are able to get people off of uh, a lot of uh, heavy punishment that they probably deserve for the things that they've done. Can't say this, that's in every case. I don't know. But the thing I thought to myself, too, is that there have been times before when you think about it. Let's say you watch videos and they've mounted evidence on a particular serial killer or serial whatever. I don't know. Uh, just a person who's a criminal. He's done terrible or she's done terrible things multiple times. And they have evidence for it. Right. And the person still goes and says, I didn't do that. That's, that's, no, it's not, that's not true. Those are all lies. And I thought to myself, but they have they found evidence against you. In some, in some cases, they've also they've, they've had evidence on people and it's, it's not been true. Or they were able to put stuff together and um, things kind of look like it was a person, but they came back years later with DNA testing and said that it wasn't. But anyway, that's beside the point. My point is being is that. Uh, Elena and Elijah, if you ever get older and one day you do something wrong, let's just say you, wrong place, wrong time, you get in a fight or something, and let's just say, Lord, I hope this never happens, but let's just say you uh, harm someone and they die, okay? Don't run, you know, I hope, you you know, I know this will be tough in the, in, in, the, in, in the moment, but don't run from what you've done wrong. Admit to it. If you've harmed that person, that person died, or uh, you did something evil or whatever, don't run from the truth. Tell the truth up front. And sometimes, the one thing I had to learn growing up, you'll be surprised. Sometimes if you tell the truth early on, you might not get as heavy as punishment as you thought. Something to think about.